Hey guys, welcome to the video. Today I'm gonna to be doing a little bit of uh, hair cutting on my wife and uh, hopefully we can show you guys some tips and tricks and whatnot. So uh, in a moment she'll be here joining me and uh, we'll get rolling. Thanks for being here. All right, this is my wife Paige and we're here gonna do a haircut on her today. And it's actually Mother's Day. And we colored the little demi permanent color. And I'm gonna get her all cleaned up here. And I uh, hope you guys enjoy the video and learn something new. We'll talk to you soon. <laughs> so here we go, we're gonna jump right into it. Just, I usually start right here at the neckline and make sure they don't have any wild hairs there down by the hairline. If they do, I just get rid of them right away. Um, I usually jump in there with a razor or a scissor right on the neckline, get rid of those little hairs. Uh, so guys, this video is not going to be very long. It's just really quick kind of tips and tricks that I used to get um, a really great bob just using one pair of scissors. Now we're going to do a quick blow dry on all that hair under the occipital bone here and uh, just really setting in that sort of that perimeter. This is where I set that perimeter shape and that line. So again, just flat brushing. I don't like really using a round brush uh, almost ever. Um, this really helps me get a nice low tension. Uh, now that we've got it smoothed out, I just comb down the hair and you always get those little hairs that stick out and my head's in the way for some of that. You can see better on the next side a little bit here. But I just comb through, comb down, and you get those little hairs that sort of like start peeking out, winging out. And uh, I just get in there and clean them up and really makes a nice clean neckline, especially for this blunt bob. She likes to keep it blunt and uh, really no layers in there. We're not gonna do any layers. So this is a very, just like, you know, you wanna say simple, but it there's all these like little things that go into it that make it look the way that it looks. Right here under the occipital bone, again, we're just kind of bringing that hair out, elevating from the neckline a little bit and removing some weight removing some hair so that it has room to move, help it grow out better. Same thing on the other side here. And I'm just using the one pair of scissors, just a little six inch pair of scissors. And you can see how clean that looks. And now we're uh, got the top down, we've done the whole cut. I just, again, just created a nice blunt line, combing it out from the head, elevating and cutting into it uh, again, just removing weight, removing hair so that it has just a place to go and doesn't look so heavy and it'll swing and move. Again, just another section so you guys can see. I'm just pulling it out from the head. A little bit of elevation there, not too high, but we are creating little mini layers sort of in the ends of that hair that will lighten it up. And there it is. Uh, it's just nice and blunt and uh, watch here to the end. You can kind of see how it swings. <laughs> Okay, we're all done. Camera's shaking. <laughs> all done. We got her color, which she doesn't love it, but oh well. It'll wash out. It was just a demi-permanent. She wants to be more orange. I think I put a, put a little too much more red in. But cut looks amazing. Nice and blunt. Swings. Move your head around a little bit. Oh yeah, I like that. <laughs> what do you think of the cut? I, I, I can't but I like... I, you you I looked see, at it in the mirror before we did, did the video. When I did see, I, I liked yeah, it. Yeah, you liked the cut. I was more looking at the color. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. Pick, color's easy to fix. Cuts are really hard to fix. Yeah, the cut. So, good. yeah, but the cut was fun. Um, hopefully in that video, you can see a few, a few of the things I did. I explained a few of those things I did. Um, and if you have any questions, put them in the comments. And make sure you hit subscribe. And you can know when I upload new videos. Thanks for watching. See you guys.